Could this be the end of cheap guitars as we know it? Hey everybody, Jay Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So we can thank Average Joe's Gear Talk for the last video I did on the Abegni. I'm looking at the box right now to try to figure out how to pronounce this thing. A-U-B-E-G-N-E. Obain, Obegni, Obenye. I don't know how it's pronounced, but anyway, he uh, did a video about the, uh, it was a Telecaster uh, style guitar, and so I bought one also and, and did a quick review on that, but when I bought that guitar, they also had a, I think they had a Strat style guitar and a semi hollow body guitar also available, and so I bought the Tele and the semi hollow body guitar. I think the semi hollow body guitar was only around $129. Uh, so, and the Telecaster was not the greatest guitar that I've ever uh, reviewed. And so I think we've kind of hit the bottom uh, when it comes to uh, cheap guitars. So I'm gonna check this one out with you uh, and to see if this one is maybe even a little bit better uh, than the Telecaster style guitar that I just reviewed by the same company, but we'll see. So let's check it out. Okay, so again, package drill decent, and this is it. This is the Abegni. <laughs> Ab Abegine. I don't know what it, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, so it's packaged really well. Uh, cardboard box, and I believe it's encased in foam just like the uh, Telecaster style, which uh, right off the bat, I gotta say that I'm impressed with the packaging, but you gotta understand that because these guitars are so cheap, I bet their profit uh, margin is so small, they don't want these things back because this is sold through Amazon and the vendors uh, in Amazon, when you sell on Amazon, you are responsible for returns so they don't want these things back so they are probably making darn sure that they uh, aren't damaged in shipping so they are encased in foam and this one doesn't look like it has a gig bag like the uh, tele telecaster style guitar it does come with a strap and a cable and it was supposed to come with a it was supposed to come with a little bag of picks with a tuner uh, there it is bag of picks with a pick necklace uh, which is hilarious and uh, so you know I'll be wearing that in my next video the pick necklace okay so let's check this thing out Oh, nice color. All right, here we go. All right, so here it is. This is the Albegni semi-hollow set neck. The neck is heavy. The body's pretty light. Uh, I'll have to put it on a strap and see. Um, let's see what the specs say about this uh, guitar as far as what it's made on. I think it's basswood. This body seems really light, really delicate. Uh, so there's something to be aware of right there. Okay, so <laughs> as of right now on Amazon, while I'm shooting this, there's only one of these left in stock. I think there were seven when I, uh, when I ordered it. Okay, so it's saying that the top and the back and the, and the, and the neck is mahogany. So, I don't know. I don't think that's mahogany. That's not mahogany. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that might even be a plywood. It's hard to say, though, because the, the F-hole is bound. But that's not mahogany. That's probably basswood. That's got to be basswood. So, there you go. It's not, it's not mahogany. The neck might be mahogany because it's, it's heavy. But by the grain in it, that neck looks like it might be poplar. Fret ends are good. Let's see. Three-way switch seems solid. 
uh, knobs seem solid. It's got a two pneumatic bridge on it, two humbuckers. Uh, the paint job on it's flawless. I mean, and it's, uh, I don't know if it looks like this, the Firefly. The Firefly's got these, I think they call them the Mickey Mouse ears or whatever. They, they have a real distinct look to them, and this isn't it. So this might be more similar to uh, like the Groat or something like that. Uh, neck finish is good. The inlays look good. There's something on here. That's tape residue, I think, on that. Uh, uh, nut looks like it's plastic. Uh, it's saying that the fretboard is rosewood on this one. And on the telly, it said it was some composite wood, but they're calling this actual rosewood. It looks like it is. But it's, it, it's a little dry. It looks like it needs to be conditioned. Binding work is excellent. I mean, it looks good. Pickups look good. I mean, everything looks good on it. So... Headstock logo is probably stamped. It's paint, painted on the headstock. So these tuners look to be the same ones that are on the, the other one. Yeah, that are really cheap. They slip. Yeah, I can tell already because I'm turning it and the string is moving very slowly. But the knobs look good. Let's put this on a strap real quick and see what that's like. And then we'll plug it in and tune it up. It's going to be neck heavy. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's balanced pretty good because of the body, but it's still, it's pretty neck heavy because the neck is really heavy compared to the body. I mean, it's, yeah, just sitting here, it's dropping. <laughs> I mean, the neck is, the neck's got to be mahogany, but the body, I don't know, man. Maybe the block is, but the block in there doesn't even look like it's mahogany. So, yeah, okay. It'll need to be tuned up. Let's tune it up and uh, see how it sounds. One thing I want to talk about, and I mentioned this in another video about reviewing cheap guitars or just doing guitars in general. I did a whole video about how guitar reviews are, are kind of pointless. And in this case, it's almost even more so because I did, Joe and I did, both did the review. He did the review first, or the mention of it. Uh, he, he bought it that same day. I bought mine probably the same day. He got his first, did a video on it. I posted my video, I think, the next day. And he, that was it. They were gone. So we don't know if there was just two and we're, we're the ones that got them or what. And then it said when I bought this uh, semi-hollow body, it said there were seven of them available, and now there's only one left. So I bet, I bet that this, you never see this guitar again, this brand. Um, I mean, I went on to, there's a website posted on, uh, web address posted on, you know, written on the tag. There's a tag on it, and uh, it goes nowhere. It's a parked domain. It's not even, doesn't even have a website. Uh, so anybody could go in and, and, and take that domain name. So, uh, and it even says established 2008 on it and everything. So I, I think all that's just kind of BS. I think they just come up with a name. I mean, the logo on it is uh, very similar to uh, Donner's logo. You can't really see it in here. Um, it's got the little heartbeat music wavelength on it or whatever. So I think these are just one-offs i think they're just companies that turn this stuff out real quick and throw them up for sale and if they sell they sell if they don't they don't whatever i mean you know they're going to sell because they're so they're so, so cheap I and mean, the price on them is ridiculous but then they go up too because this says 159 now and that was it was how much when i bought it yeah it was 129 so it's 30 dollars more than just a few days ago when did i buy this the 13th so six days ago so a week week ago i think i bought it on a weekend and then they showed up uh last week so that's what's going on with these it's so it's almost like i don't know i don't know how to how to approach guitar reviews anymore i know there's brand names that stay like groat and iyv i mean i think i'm going to purchase a few of those 
um, Jet Guitars uh, also, and they have a bigger you know, product line than just the really expensive or the really cheap ones. Uh, Tease Guitars is another one they have, you know, they're trying to expand uh, into, you know, from cheap to fairly, you know, really good guitars. So I don't know. I just bought a, uh, another Gear It <laughs> Stratocaster style guitar. I just can't help myself because that one was less than 80 this time. It's the Olympic white finish and it's got a, a silly little amp with it. I want to try that amp out. I think that'll be fun. And then the, like I said, uh, to somebody else that you can't buy a painted, you know, a finished Stratocaster style body for less than $80. So if I use that to, to build another guitar with, then I think it's, I think it's worth it. And just to have, you know, just to have guitars, around to compare things to and this and that but i think i want to shift to some i don't know better guitars i don't know it's it's hard to say uh what people want to see uh the guitar reviews seem to do better than the pedal reviews the last pedal review i did did pretty good because it was a multi-effects pedal uh so we're just kind of trying to find our way through all this uh i know some of the other guitar reviewers kind of have the same the same issue especially on smaller channels that don't have people sending us stuff. If you have people sending you stuff all the time, then you've always got something to talk about, something to review, where we have to kind of hunt and peck and look for deals and look for guitars that are out there to give us something uh, to talk about. So if you have an idea about things that we could review or, or guitars you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the con comments. So enough babbling, let's get to playing. So interestingly enough, the uh, strat or the jack for it is on the on the edge of the guitar, where usually they're in the in you know up up in here somewhere. Uh, so that's actually I actually like that feature because I always feel like the one that's on the face of the guitar is well, it's in the way first of all, and it seems like this is really delicate uh, material to have that cord in there that it. Could, that it can pull out eventually. Ooh. Okay, let's real quick go over some stats here. Uh, we've got a, it's about an inch and five eighths nut, a 24 and three quarter inch scale length. Uh, 12th fret is two and one eighth. And let's see, what else have we got? Fretboard radius is super flat. I bet it's a 12 again. That's what all these guitars seem to be lately is 12 inch radius. Yeah, I'd call that a 12, 12 inch radius. And okay, truss rod, it's got a truss rod, truss rod cover. These strings are way, way up there. This is at the 12th fret. We're looking at 2.25 millimeters, which is pretty tall. Same on the low or the high E. So then the nut, nuts cut good. There's no play there. Eh, a little bit. Sounds pretty good. Let's check the intonation on it. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Sounds pretty good. So let's see, that's the neck. This is both.
bridge pickup, I believe. There's something vibrating in here. Like one of the springs from the bridge or maybe the plastic on the pick guard. I don't know, something, something's vibrating. Yeah, there's something loose. There's little wires that hold these screws on in these two pneumatic bridges, so maybe that's what's going on or the ball end isn't. So yeah, there's something going on. So yeah, that would have to be addressed, obviously. Frets are kind of gritty. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you wanted just a beater to uh, throw in the back of your car or whatever and, you know, play it wherever, I don't know, this wouldn't be bad. I mean, you're not going to worry about it getting... If it gets ripped off or damaged or whatever, you know, or for a kid just learning, I mean, it's, you know, the neck's straight, uh, the intonation is halfway decent. It's got that buzz, I don't know. So, yeah, I mean, it's a nice guitar for what it is. I mean, it's obviously nothing spectacular but I mean the build uh, quality on it is pretty darn good I mean it's you know the Telecaster style that I reviewed yesterday I did end up taking it apart it is a poplar body um, the routing on it where the you know the chambers are for the pickups and everything almost looks like it was done by hand with a hand router it doesn't look like it was CNC made and that could be why it's so inexpensive that maybe a very small shop or whatever in china decided to try to make uh some guitars or something i don't know but the neck on that thing is just i mean some of the some of the fit and finish on it is really really questionable but this thing actually looks pretty decent so okay so a little bit of distortion So yeah, the fret, uh, frets, the pickups on it aren't aren't horrible. Um, so yeah, I mean there you go. That's a, that's a cheap guitar, man. This one's actually better than the Telecaster style that I reviewed uh, yesterday. But that's not mahogany. I mean that's you know I'm sorry that's definitely not mahogany. Um, it's got to be basswood, basswood or poplar. I don't think it's poplar. I think it's basswood. I think the block inside is also basswood. That 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 might be mahogany. Cuz the grain looks like mahogany, but the grain on the top in the back doesn't. I mean, that could even be maple, like a thin, you know, like a lightweight maple. So, yeah, interesting. But the specs on these things are usually not accurate at all in their listing. And that's got to be a mahogany neck or a maple neck because it is heavy. This thing is definitely neck heavy. So, but again, frets are not bad. Rosewood fretboard. So I'm going to take this and uh, do something with it too, just like the Telecaster. I've already got the Telecaster apart. I'm going to put new electronics and a new bridge on it. The bridge on that one, if you happen to ever see those guitars again, and want to buy one the bridge on it is totally screwy 
it's like the the strings go in and then make a right angle and then come down to go through the body so when you take when you replace the strings you can't really shove them back through the body to take them off I actually took the saddles off in order to take the strings out because there's something not right about that bridge um, yeah so anyway uh, Jace Allen here Jace Allen guitar thanks for tuning in um, I don't know what to call that thing <laughs> Arbor Jean <laughs> Abegni whatever <laughs> so thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time here on Jace Allen guitar <laughs>